Okay, here's another super brief commentary experiment. This is a much more complicated game than the first example. And I'm going to try and put it in less than 10 minutes. And maybe in the future there'll be a, a detailed analysis, like two pass analysis. But for the moment, let's just try and enjoy this game as a kind of work of art. Vladimir Kramnik was playing Eric Sparov in 1994, location Moscow, Moscow, Russia. So let's see, knight f3 from Vladimir. And Kasparov chose the King's Indian Defense, which was much more popular in the 1990s. Okay, so King's Indian Defense, and we see Bishop e2, the classical variation. Now, an early d5, uh, a favorite of Petrosian, I believe, d5. Knight bd7, the knight aims to go to the c5 square. Bishop e3 by Vladimir. Kasparov now plays knight g4. The bishop attacks the queen f6 attacking the bishop, the bishop drops back and then we see h5. Uh, so from these pawn moves black seems to have a ready-made kingside attack. If white dares the castle over here it looks a bit dangerous. Knight d2 attacking the knight, the knight goes back. f3 okay giving an escape square for the bishop for g5 potentially. Knight f7 now queen c2 and white has the flexibility now of casting queenside and in fact after bishop h6 white uses that flexibility he does castle queenside Kasparov plays c5 getting ready for maybe a queenside attack with later a6 and b5 Vladimir Kramnik takes on c6 changing the nature of the position d6 is a bit of a target king b1 now a5 and then we see knight a4 as though d6 could be a concern and also putting pressure on some key squares here. c5 is played by Kasparov and now we see knights going back to c3. So being able to utilize either b5 or d5. After bishop e3 we see knight d5 hitting the bishop. The bishop goes to d4 pointing at white's king. Knight b3 bishop b7. Knight takes d4 c takes d4 f4 from Vladimir f5 looks dangerous rook b8 rook h f1 putting more pressure potentially on f6 now f takes e5 looks very dangerous for this f6 knight h6 and now Vladimir Kramnik plays c5 he's opening up this diagonal which could be useful for a bishop or the queen potentially Kasparov takes on d5, e takes d5, opening up the queen, attacking the g6 pawn. That's defended and attacking the bishop. f takes e5 from Vladimir, not minding sacrificing an entire bishop here. Kasparov takes it, e takes d6, we have a mass of pawns here in the center. The knight can't move that easily, only to f5 because it has to shield g6. We see knight e5. Rook takes d4, a very dramatic position now. Knight f5, attacking the rook. Vladimir Kramnik now sacrifices the exchange with rook takes f5. What's going on here, you ask? Queen takes f5. There's a mass of pawns. Is it worth an entire rook here? Because rook and bishop countered by rook and knight, but there's an extra rook for black against these three pawns. King g6, rather King g7, Bishop takes h5. Okay, Rook h8, and now Vladimir offers an exchange sack, but I think it would be unwise to take this because Queen g6 and Queen f7 would be mating. So this can't be taken. King f8, Queen e6. Okay, what are the threats? Well, if the knight takes, then again we have mate here. Black plays rook b7. And now the pawns go forward more. c6. And there's very dangerous ideas now, like c7 and d7. Kasparov plays rook takes b2 check, trying to expose the white king. King takes b2. And now check. King a3. The rook is covering b4 for the moment. There's no queen b4 mate. Queen c5 check. And now staggeringly, Vladimir Kramnik moves his king again forward into the position. 
King A4. Can white really do this? Check. The king marches forward. King B5. Check. King A6. Check. King B7. Are these checks running out? Check with the rook. D7. And here, it's white that has all the threats here, like Queen E8. And Kasparov felt compelled here to resign. In this final position, I think he quickly runs out of checks. If he plays Queen B5, then there's King C7. A very dramatic game. Uh, very creative chess from Vladimir Kramnik. Hope you enjoyed that one. Comments or questions on YouTube. Thanks very much.